It's just a, it's a horrible tragedy that's unfolding in the Gulf there. Louisiana and the Gulf of Mexico are really the, the number one producers of oysters in particular in the United States. We've reached out since the spill started. We've reached out to the, our friends in the Gulf there and shared our experiences from oil spills here. Also working with them trying to supply them oysters directly that they can then supply into their markets so that we're not going direct to their markets. That way when they come back online, they'll be able to get right, right back into business quickly. It's not a simple matter for us to increase production. Our oysters are farmed, and it takes us two to four years to grow a market-sized oyster. So everything that's on our beds currently is already committed to customers like Elliott's here. And so we don't have a lot of surplus production to ramp up and meet that demand. These are the Totten Inlet Pacific oysters that are being harvested today. Uh, this would be our petite size. So a uh, very small oyster bar size oyster. And then here we're getting more into the extra small. So you can see it has a nice deep cup. There's going to be a nice small little fat meat inside of that oyster. And, uh, and a nice frilly cup with some nice color on it. It's going to be really appealing on the oyster bar. Uh, well, it's pretty straightforward. Essentially, they are um, forking up the oysters off the bottom, putting them into those harvest tubs. The tubs have a uh, buoy on them which at high tide, uh, the water will be 10 feet over our head, and then the, uh, uh, the buoy will float up, and the oyster work boat will come along and pick those tubs up, and uh, transfer them over to a truck and bring them into the plant, where they'll be uh, culled, sorted, and, uh, and packaged up for sale. The shucking process is done by hand in the same way that it's been done for over 100 years. Essentially, a, uh, an oyster is uh, looked at by, by the shucker. They, they find the, the place in the bill where they want to um, get their knife in. They insert the knife and then cut the muscle that's holding the, the shell closed, open it up, release the, the other muscle and, uh, on the bottom of the shell, and uh, let the oyster meat slide into their bin. The complexities of shellfish farming are largely about water quality. We have to be very constantly vigilant about protecting our water quality. If, if we had a large-scale oil spill in Puget Sound, uh, it would be devastating and, and, and would absolutely shut down the shellfish industry. Oyster lovers love oysters from their region. You know, and people from the Gulf of Mexico, that oyster is ingrained in their culture. You know, those people are in a world of hurt right now, so any way that all of us can reach out to help them, whether it's eating their seafood or going there and enjoying their beaches, uh, as opportunities like that open up, you know, reach out and help.